The following program is brought to you by Johnny's Radiator and More. Family owned and operated for over 45 years. We are more than a radiator shop. Come see what the more is all about. Brakes, alignments, suspension, shocks, struts, tires, lift kits, radiator, AC repair, oil change, water pumps, fuel pumps, and more. Don't forget, Johnny's has a full line of AC parts in stock for all heavy duty makes and models, logging, farming, construction, and heavy duty trucks. AC parts specialist with over 35 years experience. Call 870-226-5000 to get an estimate or make an appointment today. Coach Embry, congrats on week one win against Truman. Uh, key takeaways from the night for you. You know, I thought defensively we played really well. Uh, you know, we came out, we kind of, you know, dominated uh, their run game. You know, they were a team that wanted to come in and run the football, and I thought I thought we took that away. Uh, they had one little run early where they widened their guys out. That, that was kind of a new little deal, that the wrinkle they hadn't showed, and they were able to hit us. But after that, I thought we adjusted well and, you know, defensively played extremely well. And then, you know, offensively we were able to take the first, you know, the first drive and go score, and then, you know, we kind of sputtered there for a minute, and then we got going again right before half. But, you know, overall, you know, this time of the year, uh, you want to, you want, you want to, you know, just just find a way to advance and, and get a win, and we were able to do that. Let's go back to the defense for a second. Held them scoreless until really late on. You had quite a few subs in, even at that. Uh, any standout performers on the defensive side? Well, yeah, I thought they all did. You know, uh, it takes a team effort. It takes all eleven. You know, uh, you, a lot of guys get credit for tackles that. That you know they they do make the tackle, but you know other guys fit the right the right gap to make the, make to help them make the tackle. So you know I, I thought it was a great team effort uh, defensively. I thought we fit really well. I thought we played extremely fast, and uh, we read our keys and got to a spot. And uh, you know that was uh, something with their offense. They were uh, you know they were a little different. You know they were single wing type spread offense where you know two years ago they were full single wing now they were you know they were two wide outs with two backs and a sniffer and kind of did some of the same stuff and I thought we fitted a lot better than we did a couple years ago let's move to the offensive side of the ball Neandre had, had a good ball game last week uh big catch in late in the second quarter uh, just before halftime just how big was that that play and what did you see out of him yeah you know he was very limited last week uh, he was coming off a, a, a growing injury from the week before and we wanted to you know be real smart with him just to try to get him healthy and uh, we knew we needed if we had him we, there was a couple you know a couple of plays that we had that that uh you know we we knew we could put him out there and, and he could do it and you know obviously the first one was an easy touchdown uh honestly the second one man he just went and made a great play uh you know it was right before half and uh you know it was like 12 seconds to go and and, and we just put him out there just to really honestly to take some pressure off of off of aj thought maybe they might have to you know you know not not double cover uh you know aj but they ended up uh you know, still just dropping, and, and, and we just threw it up. And he went and made an unbelievable play and was able to score. But, you know, he's back this week fully fully healthy and ready to go. And um, But he did. You know, he played like seven or eight snaps, scored two touchdowns. And, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, he's one of our guys. You know, we, we need him out there. And uh, we were just trying to keep him uh, keep him healthy. I didn't put the exact stats on my sheet here, but I believe you were fairly balanced on the night offensively uh, or relatively. Um, just what, what are you thinking offensively where you are? What are you trying to improve on right now? Well, you know, it's just weird because we, we, we still haven't played our best game offensively. And, uh, you know, we uh, we did run the ball uh, last week more so than we have been. And, you know, we can run the football. That's the thing about it. You know, we get we get carried away with, with A.J. and DeAndre and, and Traymond and Cam. And, you know, but we got two really good running backs with Trey Jack and, and Jordan. And, uh, you know, I thought last week they were going to drop you know they were going to drop seven and, and or six or seven, and we were just going to pound the ball. And you know Trey Jack came in and I think he had like ten carries for right at ninety yards and a touchdown. And uh, you know we're just going to take what they give us. You know I, there were some times during the season where we probably would have you know kept throwing it, but now you know we're, we're going to we're going to take whatever the defense gives us and go from there. And uh, you know and then play action off of that. Uh, before we move ahead to, to box side, I think I saw this morning where uh, Jordan Ingram was. Uh, is a, a Farm Bureau uh, on watch list uh, for the Farm Bureau Award. Uh, so he's, he's had an excellent season. Let's move ahead to box site, convincing win against McGee. They're obviously a good football team. Um, what, what are you expecting out of them? Out of Man, the they, they've improved so much over the over the year. You look back and you watch them in week one and two, it's a whole different football team. Uh, 
know, they, they, they made wholesale changes on their offensive line. They've got three new guys starting from, from early in the season. And when they've done that, they've not lost a game. You know, from week six on, uh, they played extremely well. And, and uh, they got Marcus Wembley, which everybody knows, who's, who's an Arkansas commit, who's extremely fast. He can run. He can uh, – He's physical, and you know he, he's a handful. And then, you know, they got the quarterback, a, a, a freshman quarterback. They moved up in week three, or I don't know what week it was, but it, it was early in the year. And uh, I mean, he's gotten better and better. I mean, he he can throw it, he can run it. Uh, they got the Fox kid at wide out that, that, that that's extremely fast. And you know, they got some guys back. Uh, they had a kid running back back that that uh, they got hurt during the summer at seven on seven. Uh, he came back week 10 and, uh, you know, uh, just very strong. They're a very strong football team. Uh, you can tell they, they, they've been in the weight room and, I mean, they're physical. And, you know, defensively, uh, you know, they're, they're, they got a lot of guys like us, you know, as far as, you know, guys that's going both ways. And, you know, this time of the year you've got to, you know, you've got to. And uh, they, they play, uh, you know, I honestly don't know what we're going to get. You know, you go back and you watch film and, you know, they've not, you know, the only team that really does what we do is – is CAC where they spread you out, where we spread you out and try to, you know, try to try take advantage of, uh, you know, mismatches. But, uh, you know, honestly, we don't know what we're going to get defensively. We got to be ready for anything and, uh, we just got to go execute. And that, that's, that, that's, you know, what, when we when we're doing that, we're really good on offense. And, uh, we got some guys who can make plays and, and can take it to the house at any point. And we got to be able to, to get them the football and, and just play, you know, play, play our style of football. Lastly, Coach, I know this time of the year is nothing new to you or, or your team, but how do you – just going through the week, how do you manage the pressure of postseason plays? This is where it really – this is where it's uh, one and done type stuff. Yeah, and you know, like I told our kids on Sunday night, we came in, we practiced on Sundays, as you know. Uh, but we came in – this is when it's fun. You know, you, you get to the lull of the year of, of, you know, week in, week out, of 10 long weeks. And, you know, what I thought that – you want to be playing your best football in November, and that's something that, that I learned the hard way uh, back in the early, you know, you know, mid two thousands. You know, we we would go play, and we play really well week four and five, you know, and 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 then we get to week twelve, week thirteen, you know, we wasn't playing as well, and so you you hope that you can plan it where you're playing your best football, uh, you know, right now and. I think we've had a really good week of practice. Uh, I think that, that you know, we, we're doing the, the right things. You know, we're playing a really good football team, though, that has a lot of speed, and they do a lot of stuff on offense formation-wise, and you got to be locked in. You know, this is, um, you know, the situation where, you know, when you get this time of year, you're not going to – you're going to play really good football teams that are well coached, and you got to be able to, to, to be able to adjust and, 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 and adjust in a hurry. Coach, we appreciate your time. We'll see you Friday night. Good luck. All right, thank you.